Time waits for no one. I keep having this dream. I don't know how it starts or how it ends. But I'm falling through time and I can't stop. My memories are all I have, but I can't feel. It gets harder and harder to breathe as if I've come to the end, but I'm not ready. And my heart goes faster and faster. All I can think about is how much time do I have? Oh shit! Talking to God, what the hell do you say with a knife in your bag? But they beg you to stay. I got premium facts, premium hay, premium gas. It's a regular day. I got haters that really don't get in my way when it's players that drop that don't ever get play on. Uh. It's go time. Now, what day is it? It's your birthday, bud. Dirty <laughs> 30! <laughs> Coffee release time. <laughs> coffee oh, release time. Let's go. <laughs> adventure time, baby. Are you pumped for adventure day? No, I am. That's what I'm doing on my pants. What are you saying anything? Four count. Like what? <laughs> Dude, you think of the mountains? No. That's my birthday. You should probably ask him. Birthday! I'm pretty sure they said yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I heard I'm it. Pretty sure I heard a yes. There. <laughs> I'm not that talented. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks that for coming. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, there's no way I just wiped out like that. Take two. Today I turned 30, and I'm damn proud of the person I've become. To my 30s. <laughs> this is where my life ends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm being dramatic. This is where my life begins. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> Cheers to 30. Hell yeah. Best decade yet. It's been a wild ride. I keep thinking about how far I've come, how much I've grown, how much I've overcome, and how much I've learned to become the person I am today. And honestly, I think 16-year-old Tim would be proud. The crazy thing about life is that it never stops and you can't rewind. All you can do is focus on the present moment. Live in the moment and enjoy each day like it's your last, because one day it will be your last. And that's a scary, but also a beautiful thought. This is what makes life precious. This is what makes every moment worth it. <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sir. Ah! Ah! Oh, sir. <laughs> That's actually unreal. And you're 30. How do you, what are your thoughts? How do you deal with being 30? How do I deal with being 30? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deal with it. What are your... <laughs> it's just waking up, just living it, you know? I don't know, turning 30, you're, you, you face a new set of uh, experiences, a new set of challenges, but uh, I don't know, you don't lose anything in the process. You know what I mean? It's how you feel. It's just how you feel. That's it. And honestly, I, do, I, I don't feel like I'm 30. I feel like I'm still, I feel very much like a child still. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm still trying to figure out this world. <laughs> Again, it all just circles back to that big present thing, like not focusing on the future and not, uh, not weighing on it so much.
It's true. 30 is a big milestone. People always joked about how once you turn 30, your life is over. You're old. You should be settled down. All of these things that couldn't be further from the truth. Because now that I'm 30, I feel better than ever. I have more mental clarity, more freedom, and the ability to make my life whatever I want to make it. I've experienced things, I've learned so much, and I've come so far. So if you're scared of turning 30, don't be. I know it can seem daunting, but I know for a fact that my 30s are going to be the best decade of my life, and I bet they will be for you as well. Um. Number one, the only person you can change is yourself. We have a tendency to blame others. And you know what? Fair. A lot of the time, it makes sense to blame someone else. It might be someone else's fault or, you know, there's something that they can change. But listen to this. There is no positive outcome in blaming others. Yes, constructive criticism is important and you should push the people around you, the people that you care about to be better. But the only person that you have the direct ability to change is yourself. The sooner you stop blaming others and look within for answers, the faster you will see improvements in your life. And the best part is that those improvements will rub off on everyone around you. The more positive change you see in yourself, the more positive change you're going to see in the people that you care about. Number two. The journey is so much more important than the destination. Yes, you've heard this so many times before, I'm sure, but have you ever actually truly thought about it? There's a famous quote by Jim Carrey and he says, I think everybody should become rich and famous and get everything they ever dreamed about to see that it's not the answer. We all want our final destination. We crave it. And of course, it'll be amazing when we get there. But here's the thing that you probably haven't considered. That type of happiness is temporary. It's not lasting joy. Lasting joy happens in the small things, the everyday tasks, the small victories, the little celebrations, the in-between moments, the adventures, even the struggles and getting through them. This is the journey and this is where true happiness lies. Number three, you must define your own success. So a lot of the time we look at success as an objective outcome. And most of the time that's tied to money, work, or status. The things that truly don't matter. Here's why. You are your own person. You have your own path. You're not just another figment of society, which means that you also have your own destination. So why is your destination the same as everybody else's? Why do we tie success to the same thing for everybody? Take me for example. I went to university and got a master's degree in something I didn't really like doing. And I did it because it would have brought me a good paycheck, benefits, stability, all of that stuff, which I thought was tied to success. But I wasn't happy. I didn't like doing it. So how can you be successful and unhappy? That just doesn't make sense to me. So I changed my path to one that brought me happiness. I followed my passions and I redefined success in my own terms. Success for me has become this. Doing what I love, which is making these films, making a difference along the way while spreading positivity and making enough money to support my lifestyle. I think this is something that we don't think about enough. How much money do you actually need to live your lifestyle and of course, plan for the future? So here's to 30 and hopefully at least 30 more. And here's to all of you. Thank you for being here. And I hope something I talked about today sparked something in you or just made you think of things in a different way. Remember, life truly is short. And so live each day like it could be your last because one day it's going to be your last. And yeah, that's a kind of morbid, but also a beautiful thought. You've got one life. So what are you going to do with it? Okay, guys. I am doing a giveaway on this video. So a couple things. First, thank you for being here. If you've watched this long, seriously, I can't thank you enough. Uh, it's my dream to make these films for a living and 
you guys watching this far, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff really helps me get to that point. So thank you. Secondly, I am officially a partner with Musicbed and yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about it and we're doing a giveaway together on this video. All you have to do is like, comment and subscribe and you'll be entered for an Amazon gift card or a one year Musicbed subscription, which is insane because Musicbed is the gold standard in music licensing and I've been using them for years. I use them for commercial work, for weddings, uh, for all of these films, for social media, pretty much for everything. Their music is seriously incredible. Um, so enter in the draw. And then I also have a code in the description um, and you can use that to get a free trial. So do one of those, try out Musicbed. It's seriously incredible. Um, and yeah, thank you again. Um, let me know what you think about the film. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you wanna see more like this or which just what you think in general. Thank you for being here, seriously. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.